Hey guys, welcome to the Boom Tequila podcast with your hosts. I'm Erin. And I'm Jody. So guys, look, I get it. Dating is hard, but what makes it even harder is if the person you might otherwise be interested in has that one big ick about them that you just can't look past. I know we've talked in the past about being petty and we've talked about reasons to break up with someone, but in today's episode, we're talking about the pettiest reasons you can't date someone. Our friends and listeners have sent in a few reasons as well as some pretty hilarious ones I found on Reddit. So what we're going to do today is just go over a bunch of these reasons and Aaron and I are going to say whether we think they're being petty or not. So are you ready to get started? I am. (laughs) (laughs) All right. The first one is she insisted on staying at home all the time with her six roommates and they constantly had friends over. I felt like the boyfriend extra on friends or Seinfeld petty or nah. She probably just doesn't really want a boyfriend that much. Honestly. Yeah. She just wanted to hang out with her friends. I agree. Cause when you first start dating someone, like you want to spend time alone with them and like, mm-hmm. not that I know it, like, from any time recent, but I'm just saying like, you want to be with them alone and like go out and do things together. So maybe she just wanted another friend to come over all the time. I think so. Yeah. So I don't think it's that petty. I don't know. It's medium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, This one said he had the same first name and last name as my grandpa. Um, I've, I've kind of felt like a little ick about guys that have like the same name as my dad or something. Mm -hmm. I I get it. I get it. But like a lot of people, like there's a few in my family that have dated or got even gotten married to like the same name. So I think I kind of like, I think for me, I could look past that, but I can see where it would be like, you're fine with keeping it in the family. (laughs) (laughs) No, stop. (laughs) I'm fine with keeping the same name as my family. Okay. Anyways. He said that God told him I was going to be his wife. Cool. Cool. But he didn't tell me. So (laughs) that's, I don't think that's petty. I think that's like legit. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he was saying like as a joke or ironically. No, that would still get it. That seems like, I was going to say the guy at youth group, but like at some like young adults, like church event, that's like. God told me and, and they're, I just know it's a no, 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 it would give me the, ick. even if they were joking or anything, I'd be like, well, no, if they were joking, I would, I would not get the ick, but if they were serious, I'd be like, hmm. he told me to dump you <laughs> before we even start dating. So yeah. cool. Cool. All right. <laughs> Another similar experience right after we had sex he jumped out of bed rushed to get dressed and then said god didn't like what we just did i'm a christian <laughs> ew this reminds me of we were re-watching we started re-watching sex in the city like jody and i and a couple of our other like girlfriends recently and there's this episode where miranda's dating this guy and he like immediately after they like have sex every single time he runs to the shower and he's like I, can't, I don't know. It's like at that point, just be abstinent. Like if you're going to have that much, like make your choices. Right. But, it's too stressful. But don't like, like do it and then be like, God's bad at us. And, <laughs> and I could go on a whole nother issue about, about that, but I'll, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that's petty. I think that's, yeah. Yeah. Red legit. Flag. Legit. Okay. So another along those lines. She gave me a handy and then next week her dog died. She told me it was God punishing her for doing it. See, this is the problem. This is the problem with some of these religious pressures that are put particularly on women, which again, I could go into a whole nother, do a whole nother episode on it. And I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you the drama, but (laughs) no. Also, when you said she gave me, (laughs) no, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. Say it. So, Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You know, okay, so we were at um, dinner a couple weeks ago with some friends and like one of, somehow it came up, I don't know who brought it up, but one of our friends brought up that like guys have this thing where they will like 
be like, smell my, smell the room. <laughs> I look great on the YouTube video. Smell my fingers. And <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. Like, why are they smelling their fingers? Like, what's like, and anyways, so then I think it was our friend Missy explained to us that she's like, no, guys will like, if they like finger a curl, they'll like not wash their hands and they'll go up to their friends and be like, guess who? <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, guess who? What? <laughs> what is this a real thing I need someone to tell us of this because this feels like this has to be a rumor like a this myth real life. right like oh what God. guy is doing that so anyways then I was like well I'm gonna like I'm not gonna do this but I was like well I'm gonna find I'm gonna find some guy and like give him a handy and just save it and be like hey, go to you. <laughs> guess, who, guess who's dirty dick this is dirty dick <laughs> Told you I shouldn't oh my god um <laughs> Anyways, for some reason, when you said, like, gave me a hint of that was the first thing I thought of. I was like, did she, like, save it and, like, show it to her friends? And then he was like, no, that's, I got the ick from that. Cause, Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you're next. Okay. So this one says, he talks too loud and gets really close to your face. I can't stand that. I hate that. Ugh. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I don't like people getting close. Even like, like if that. I'm, when I'm like at the store at like Walmart or Target or something, and I'm not in like the self-checkout, if someone's getting behind me, I will put the cart behind me to keep them away from me. Cause people will literally like stand inside your asshole oh, I- when you're waiting to <laughs> check- they do when you're like waiting to check out. Like, what are you doing? I hate that. Like, I don't want to be penetrated. Like, I'm not going to move any faster there. with you like up there no (laughs) no okay see I don't I don't I don't think that's petty I think most of these are not because I wouldn't consider them petty I can see where they're petty but yeah I'd be like back up but if it was like a first date and the guy was like that you're like no 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 maybe he has vision and hearing issues so he's (laughs) anyways (laughs) she had a sign in her kitchen that said eat like capitals E A T. Did she forget what rooms are for? I think that's petty. Like that is petty, yeah. but also like get rid of that fucking sign, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Stupid as hell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I saw quite a few when I was researching this. There was a lot of them that were saying like she had or whoever had the one word signs in their house like gather eat kitchen like saying what rooms are. that is <laughs> people that's that. petty. the live laugh, I want to get a bunch life. of them in my house and just says like over the couch like sit <laughs> sit your ass down wash your hands over the sink <laughs> yeah okay this one says he would eat pizza with his hands like form a spoon with his fingers I'm trying to like form a spoon with his fingers and scoop up the toppings huh like he would take the toppings just off and be like just like (laughs) (laughs) that's disgusting maybe you didn't like the bread part on the bottom (laughs) that's really gross even that I feel like if he could have like used a actual fork and just like off or like Oh no, that'd be gross if he picked the whole thing up. <laughs> Get up and like make it into a just like <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Never mind. No, that's not funny at all. That's fucking weird. Like, <laughs> really weird. That almost makes me wonder if like they went on one date and he was just trying to like be as stupid as possible to see if she'd say anything, or like maybe he was dared, like just do this on your date and see. You know what I mean? Because who who does that? I don't know. That's not like. It's not normal. Especially if they're at a restaurant or something. Like where everyone can see. How embarrassing. Yeah. I'd leave. I'd I'd leave I'd like, I have to go to the bathroom. And then I would just stand up and I would like literally run out the door. Like and <laughs> screaming. Run. Screaming at your run. run. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. Okay. <laughs> A friend of mine broke up with his girlfriend because she had a Dyson and he didn't think he could keep up with her extravagant lifestyle. You know what? She's better off. She is better off. That's really stupid. I mean. Because he probably doesn't have a job. Yeah. Also, 
like maybe yeah that or like maybe she got it on like facebook marketplace for half price or you know what i mean maybe either way though yeah either way that's stupid yeah stupid (laughs) <laughs> so dumb I don't yeah that's that is petty but it also is more of like just a screaming insecurity of the dude oh, for sure to feel yeah. intimidated and insecure about the fact that she owns fucking Dyson vacuum yeah bye what would bother me is like okay you have a Dyson vacuum like does she have the air wrap thing because I want one of those the air wrap thing the Dyson air wrap for your hair oh yeah 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay. This one says she wouldn't clear the excess time off of the microwave display. Oh yeah. That's petty. That's like, that feels a little OCD. Yeah. Like that, that, whenever I see them, I'll clear them off, but it's not enough to make me be like, I'm never going to date some like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wouldn't be on a date with someone and they didn't do that. And I'm like, that's that's the red flag. Yeah. (laughs) The red flag. (laughs) Like even when I do it and I go to people, like if I'm at people's houses and I see it, I don't, it's not even enough for me to like say anything. It just, it bothers me enough that I'm going to do it, but whatever. Stupid. All right. I broke up with this pretty hot girl when I was in high school because she didn't swing her arms when she walked. So she looked like a gorilla. (laughs) That's kind of funny. I like it. I want to like do the walk, but I don't. Um, Yeah, that's petty, but like, I get it. Yeah, I get it. This one says he was constantly using nasal spray and he constantly had that foamy spit bubbles in the corner of his mouth. No, 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 I couldn't. I could, if it was like a one-time thing, like whatever, it would give me the ick, but I'd get over it. But if it was like an always, he's always just got. No, I'm calling the cops. I already have the ick. (laughs) No, let's get away from him. She, (laughs) she said her dream was to be a social media influencer. I don't think that's bad. Like like now. No, but I feel like they're just not meant to be like if you're the type of person that's like I fucking hate social media and whatever and that's like her passion like yes you shouldn't be together so I don't necessarily think it's petty as much as like you're maybe not compatible yeah but I personally don't have any issue like if somebody was like I want to be a social like this might kind of I mean it's kind of cringy to be like I want to be an influencer yeah I I don't like the like even the word influencer is like kind of icky to me but and it's 2022 everyone's an influencer and no one is so yeah it's this might kind of sound boomery but like her dream is to be an influencer and I feel like now that's cool like that works but what about like in 20 years because that's I don't know anyway yeah okay this one says she was a huge Michael Jackson fan and got a full back piece tattoo of his face you had to put this in there I couldn't keep raw dogging it from behind while making eye contact with the king of pop. Um, <laughs> so you you could stick to missionary and problem solved, or no, that's gross. I <laughs> I mean, like if a guy had like a huge Michael Jackson like face like all over his chest or something, it would creep me out. <laughs> It would. No, I, I, I understand it. I, <laughs> I just love that though. I, what if it's a really good one? <laughs> like a really good tattoo. Yeah, I but no, <laughs> no, I don't even and know. Michael Jackson's kind of controversial for, for reasons. Yeah. <laughs> even I'll if make, you don't think I'll of it that way. Like if I say too much there. It's but. fucked up either way. Like it's, it is. It's weird. <laughs> And that you can't cover it. What are you going to cover it with? Just your. Right. Just like a big. Just a big blob. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. That's bad decisions for sure. Keep her shirt on. I don't know. (laughs) Keep her shirt on. (laughs) Missionary or shirt on. Those are your options. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. His eyes were too far apart. He looked like Sid from Ice Age. That's a bad reason if you're like really into him and like I think just like if it's like for something physical I don't know I say that but then there's like, <laughs> I've not dated 
you know, several people for physical reasons. So I don't think I'd be able to date Sid no yeah. matter how cool he was. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I get no. it. No. Okay. This one says if I'm coming around the corner and they jump out and scare me, it's over. I refuse to live in fear. <laughs> Like if they do this once, I feel like again. Yeah, I feel like that's it's really annoying. Funny. But if like every time you come around a corner, they're like, oh, oh, got you again. But ew. that does make sense because I I'm so jumpy. I scare really easily. So I feel like if someone was doing that all the time, I'd be like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Let's not do this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If they're super into Disney stuff, so I've seen this. There's like this whole thing about Disney adults. Have you seen that where they say like they're really weird? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't looked. I've known some. Either. Were they weird? You know, I have known some like moms who are like really into Disney and like obsessed with it. And like, that's their favorite place and they love it. And I don't think they were weird. Like they were like nice. They were just like really nice moms. Yeah. Like, they love Disney. Um, I will say the Disney moms are way fucking better than the Tweety Bird moms. <laughs> Or the Betty Boop moms. Yeah. I'll take a Disney mom any day. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, in general, I would say kind of weird though. Yeah. Just not as weird. Makes sense. Okay. This one said he put ketchup on his tacos. Immediately. No, I'm calling the cops again. They got to get over here. It's gross, but like, I'm not eating it. He's if he wants to eat ketchup tacos. That's true. Like, do they even have ketchup at Taco Bell? I don't think they do. No, you gotta like bring it. You gotta bring your own. <laughs> His <laughs> own like pocket ketchup. No, I don't think. You know, I if he does it. that, then he's pretty handy. Like he remembers things, so maybe handy look for at, ketchup. Look at the on the go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he he wore tidy whities, so. This gave me the ick years ago, years ago, before my husband, before <laughs> it was, <laughs> and that's so stupid because he was really nice and like really hot, but <laughs> I just could not look past that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever, if you were I've like, never, I've never run into that scenario. So I can't say if it would give me it. Cause like my initial thought was like, that seems kind of petty. Like that's whatever he wants yeah. to do or whatever he's But take about. yourself back to being like 18, 17. That would give you the ick for sure. I don't know if I would have known. Well, if you did. If you yeah, knew. yeah. Well, I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you for the sake of like. Trust me. It probably would. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. I feel like now I'd be like, so what? Like that's stupid. But back then. It was, it was too much for me. Yeah. Okay. This next one says when they say, guess my Zodiac sign. See, I don't like that. Cause I love the Zodiac stuff. Like I yeah. think that's cool. I don't, I mean, if other people don't, that's fine. I'm not like obsessive, like, but it's really, it's interesting. Like I would like it. If a guy was like, guess my Zodiac sign, I'd be like, you're such a Taurus <laughs> 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 or like, whatever, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. But maybe I'd be the one that they break up with for saying, guess my Zodiac sign. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> all right um I didn't want to ruin our friendship that's not petty like that's I think that's an actual like really good reason not to it is and it's not like if you if you know that you're not compatible like dating wise then yes I think yeah. it's a really good reason not to but if you're if you're doing it out of fear of like I'd rather not have love then then it's kind of dumb yeah, that makes sense. Like, if you think that you are really compatible and you're just, like, afraid of, like, ruining the friendship, then I think it's a little dumb. Mm-hmm. But if you know you're, like, if you if you know it wouldn't end well. I don't know. I'm not wording that well, but it made, it made sense in my head. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, this one says their height. I just can't do the same height or shorter. There was so many of those. So many of those. And I agree. I don't think that's petty. I, I think it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, short dudes. But. And I know this you can't help it. Like, not a problem for me because I'm only five four. So I right. don't think I've ever met a guy that's really like shorter than me. Yeah. Maybe close to the same height, but I kind of agree though. Like I get it. Yeah. Even though I feel like it shouldn't matter, it really shouldn't. And like I feel like the younger generations don't care as much about this. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't. 
And I feel bad. Like it's not something they can help, but my feelings are also not something I can help. So yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. All right. The next is the way he held his fork. I want to know how he held it. Like, yeah. Like, was he like both hands? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> and then like flipping it. This one says he was wearing Jordache jeans in 1990. No, I thought, I thought Jordache was cool, but I guess. I thought that was cool in the 90s. Yeah. Was it out of style by the 90s? Or was it never in style? I don't know if they ever, I don't know. (laughs) I really don't know. Like, I don't, this is just, this was one that was sent into us and I, I trust her judgment, but I was only four in 1990. Yeah. So we were infants, basically. Yeah. So I yeah, I'm I don't think she's petty at all. So I'm gonna say not petty on this one. Yeah. Okay, next is he, he was bald. Hat for sure. He was a hat. I don't I, I know a lot of people care about this one. I don't care about this one. Like I don't think I don't know. Like most guys after a certain age are bald, right? I think so. Yeah. I'm just not as attracted to bald as mullets I definitely am attracted to mullets (laughs) (laughs) that's another thing I feel bad about like they can't help the height they can't you can't help it if you're bald I feel bad but baldies it's not for me it's not for some other people too I'm sorry yeah it's okay you don't have to apologize for your preferences yeah okay this one says he said nowadays people will just walk down the street and shake hands with a gay yep no that's not cool no No. calling the cops definitely that one you can legit call the cops because that's that's fucked up honestly but he had long fingernails that's disgusting especially like yeah i've 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 met some guys that have like really long fingernails and it's that just tells you like they're not taking it like do the simplest thing take care of your hygiene and your nails well, and like they might have liked it though because that's becoming a trend now have you seen like mgk and like some of these other dudes that have like acrylic nails on the cardi b like... no yeah oh i feel like God. it's becoming more like more normal for like well <laughs> it's not like an example of like normal so never mind guys are playing no with their, you know don't do that oh my gosh yeah it wouldn't be for me but it wouldn't be like gross if they did that it'd be gross if they were just like you know that's gross to me <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be positive yeah okay this one says at the end of our first date he asked me for kisses he's like give me some kisses oh kisses kisses <laughs> Ew, sorry. Why did I do that so much? That's so gross. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, really trying I'm gonna to let you keep game. going. You see, no. I feel like this guy, you would really like this guy. <laughs> you keep going with that. I was, was kind of getting into it. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no. 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 If his name's Chad, no. I don't know. Like I get it. It's kind of the same as like the J name thing. Like, yeah. For guys or whatever. I was just saying for guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> where it's like a stereotype, but I'm sure yeah. there's, I'm sure it's not all chads. Not all chads. No, I don't, I've only known a few and I, I, I like a couple of them, but there's a couple of dishy ones. If they, this one says if they work in HR, which I kind of get this, like HR people tend to be kind of weird. You know what? One of my favorite people worked in HR and she was so fun I loved it when the last place I worked whenever she would she would only work like one day a week there she worked at different places and she would only come in one day a week and it was my favorite day because we would have so much fun she was hilarious so I disagree with that see all the HR people I've known have been so like I work in marketing and there was one job that I had at one point where the there was this lady from HR who would be like well, HR, we're on the like professional side. And then like, you know, marketing's like the more like fun side. I was like, yeah, because like, but like, you could come over to the fun side. <laughs> yeah. And I always like joked like that HR people, like their sense of humor is just, it kind of makes you like go what? Because 
I feel like at least the HR people I've known, I feel like they're the type of people to like have meetings and be like, oh my gosh, you guys won't believe what I did. I put my shirt on inside out. This <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And the tag was out. Oh, oh like, no. I feel like they're all just like cracking up. Like, like that's like funny to them. Like I just like a regular Monday for me guys. Shut up. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know. Uh, next is he said, hello, instead of hello. 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 <laughs> I feel like this is the type of guy that's also going to be like, boobish. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Immediate egg. Oh my God. <laughs> or the ones that answer the phone like, yellow. Hello. Oh, yellow. Hello. 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 <laughs> guy. <laughs> no. No. Don't do it, dude. Mm-mm. Yeah. This one says he walked with T-Rex arms. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't see a problem with it. I, I feel don't see like a problem. That's I what we should it. do. I would I would just start doing it too and be like, where are the T-Rex couple? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. They, she should marry him, not dump him. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I feel like that's that's a whole vibe. Like I like the T-Rex arms. <laughs> We're into it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, next. He asked my roommate out on a date only to ask questions about me and if they should ask me out. No, no, that's so awful. Weird. Like, it's one thing if he was like, I'm trying to be friends with the roommate and like ask about you, but it's a whole nother thing. If he's actually asking her on a date to then talk about you No, Cause that's so that's like, okay. that's so good to your roommate. Like, yeah. I would be like, what the fuck? If I was on a date with a guy and they were like, so your friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, um, yeah, no, she's cool. That's that's fine. But no. Hoes before bros. Yes. Whatever the saying Absolutely. Goes. Okay. And then this is our last one. It says he asked me if I wanted a soda from a hot dog stand. And when I said yes, he asked me to get him one too. I do that to my husband all the time. That's different if it's your husband. If it yeah. was like, if I'm just picturing like it's your first day and he's like, do you want a soda? Like, oh, sure. Okay, give yeah. me one too. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. I, I don't know. get him one, but I would think that he was the scrub, honestly. Mm-hmm. For sure. For sure. That's, he doesn't have a job. No. That's probably, he want, He thought that would be cooler than being like, hey, will you buy me a soda? Cause I don't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To be real here for a minute, you don't need an actual reason not to date someone all anyone is entitled to is a yes or no but it's fun to talk about the silly things that easily give people the ick so do you have any reasons any petty reasons that you didn't date someone oh my gosh so many honestly (laughs) and I know I've talked about this one on previous episodes but like the guy that was really into the Muppets I feel like that was honestly kind of a petty thing just for like one of his interests well I don't know it was it was Muppets that is not petty that was little Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So one that I thought of is if I find out like that on any of their like socials or like profiles of any type, it says their job is like works at like, like school of like they went to where they went to school. It's like school of hard knocks or works at like the streets or like one recently that I ran into, it says works at boners incorporated. And I was like, (laughs) no, no gross. No. And I know this little job ones, but this, so maybe this is petty because I feel like this is very like shallow of me, but I guess I, I have a reason for it. I'll explain. Um, but this other one, this guy that I met, he was like, honestly, super nice guy. We didn't really have chemistry, but he was a really nice guy. It said, uh, I met him through like an online thing and it said that he worked in like marketing and sales. So when I asked him like, oh my gosh, like, cause I work at marketing too. I'm like, what do you do? And he's like, I like I work at a at a hot dog stand (laughs) and I was like okay okay we're really positioning that as okay like I see the tie-in but like it is a stretch (laughs) so I do feel like for me one of my petty ones that I consistently is the job thing if they have like a really shitty job and I oh I, I feel bad because it's like I know you shouldn't care about that, but I think there's two things that happen that I see one of two things happening. 
when when men like that date a woman who is on a more professional track and like really ambitious like I, I would say I'm, I'm pretty ambitious when it comes to my career and I see one of two things happening either they end up being like they want a mom they have like mommy issues and they want someone to take care of them and they're kind of like they're like oh I don't mind I wouldn't mind being a stay-at-home husband like and they just like want me to take care of them and I don't need another child or they tend to get very insecure about it and feel like I don't know like I feel like the dude either wants you to be mommy or he's insecure about it and I'm sure there are exceptions I'm sure there are like confident cool guys I have not met them so in my experience it's one of those two so no, that makes sense. You've worked really hard to get where you're at and you don't need someone that you have to take, like you said, like you have to take care of. So as long as they're working to do better and not wanting you to just be mom. Like at least have some ambition or like yeah. something like, you know what I mean? And I don't care what it is, like what industry or how much they make or like any of that, but like something. they have to have some ambition and yeah. like enough to support themselves. Like, yeah. I don't feel like that's asking too much. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you're good. But (laughs) what I thought of though, for petty reasons, my mom, when, okay. So when her and my dad got divorced, my mom got on all these dating sites, like Christian mingle and like all these. (laughs) And I remember at one point, like she was like, Erin, come look at this guy. And she would be going through these profiles and I would be like, well, what about him? Like, he seems like a nice guy. She's like, (sighs) he plays golf. (laughs) Your dad played golf. And she'd be like, I couldn't date somebody that liked golf. And then like the next one, it would be like some like great seeming guy. Oh, he's a professor. Your dad was a professor. Uh, He's 5'11". Your dad was, and it was just like, oh my God, like somebody's not not over things. Like maybe you're not ready to date, but like literally every little thing. It could be like, he had a pocket protector. Your dad wore pocket protectors. Like it was so stupid. She wants the complete (laughs) opposite. I know, but then there was this guy whose like screen name was Fun Big One. And she was like about ready to go on a date with him until I was like, mom. (laughs) <laughs> look at the boat like the she's like well because he's a he's a fun big guy and I was like <laughs> read read it again <laughs> read it again yeah and like in the bio it was like I've got a fun big one I'd like to take out and let you play with and she's like I was like read it again and she's like oh that's that's the guy that because he plays golf yeah but like go out with the dude that's like I got a fun big one <laughs> Anyways, do you have any, um, honestly, like I I haven't been single in forever, but like I, the tidy whities one was a big one for me, but I was like really young and like, it's so stupid. Like who cares about that? But, um, (laughs) there was one guy that had a lazy eye. And he was really nice too, but instead of dating him, I dated the like crackhead who went to prison. The one that looked like Eminem. Yeah. The one that looked like gas station Eminem. Yeah, gas station Eminem. Like not Sorry. even Walmart. Sorry, not- <laughs> gas station Eminem. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's about it. I love that. <laughs> yeah. But that's all we've got for our uh petty reasons section. So time to move on to Joe Jam. What do you got this week? All right. This week I have a new song out by Ella Mai and it is called How featuring Roddy Rich. Nice. And it is, it's like R&B, but a more upbeat with like a little rap in it. Yeah. That's is it. it new? Yeah, it is new and it's, it's catchy. So you should. Okay. What do you have? Uh, Morgan Wallen released You Proof finally. He released a part of it like probably a year or two ago. And I loved that. And he finally released like the whole song. So if you haven't listened to it, check check both those songs out. So yeah. Love that. Yeah. And now. And now. It's time to dish, bitch. You better (laughs) dish, bitch. Uh, Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's time to dish. Uh, uh, uh. It's dish. time to dish, bitch. Okay. <laughs> so 
for Dish Fish, I just have a couple fun random questions for us. So okay. are you ready? Well, yes. All right. What, and it can be anything you want. What should be free? Like what should, like we want everything to be free, but like what should be free? Absolutely. Healthcare. Yeah. I like healthcare that. and college, tampons. but healthcare, <laughs> healthcare. The tampons. Tampons should be free. Tampons are healthcare. Yeah, it goes along with that. Also great. Yeah. Yeah. And birth control. (laughs) Yes. Well, condoms are free, so why is birth control not? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, they they can say that is birth control. They can say, oh, well. But like, I'm just saying, like the male, like something like the for the men it is, but not for the woman. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably get like free dye for him. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Good answer. I wish gas was free. free. I feel like gas should be free. I don't know why, just because I want it to be like, I don't really have a good reason. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like healthcare and everything along with it should be free, but gas too, just because I want it to be. So yeah. Yeah. All right. How big is too big of an age gap? Hmm. I think this really depends on the person for myself. I don't think I would go more than 10 years. And that's like of a guy older than me. Now, if you're talking about like dating a guy younger than me, I tend to like not want to date guys younger than me, but like maybe I would make an exception within a couple of years. And that's maybe a petty thing for me. Actually, that's another petty reason that I haven't dated someone. (laughs) Like if it was like a really great guy, but then I found out he was like five years younger than me. I've been like... Mm. you know what I mean because I'm like well now yeah. I'm like, my little brother now and like now that's weird and I know um and I that's I, that's a petty one I think but so my parents were 15 years apart and really probably too much yeah mm. my dad my dad was old <laughs> <laughs> he was in the silent generation he was born in like 1933 oh wow yeah hmm I yeah I remember I think we've told this story but we you met a guy on one of our trips and you were kind of talking to him on the way home and I remember you saying he better not be like 26 and so I asked and I should have asked I mean you would have found out eventually but I was like how old because you? literally you because like, you asked and I was like what did he say and you looked up and you're like I'm not telling you <laughs> and I was like no. shut up shut up I was like, he's 26, isn't he? And he's just like, yep. Yep. He's still really nice. But I mean, Um, like, to be fair. Yeah. He lived like, we didn't even live close to each other. That was not something that was going to be like a realistic, like. Right. That's true. That's true. You know. Anyways. Anyways. (laughs) Next. This is our last one. Our last one. Wait, did you say how big of an age gap you think is too big? Um, I think it depends on the person. Cause I feel like people can be like, obviously if I was single, I would date somebody in their late twenties, maybe now. And if I was single, yeah. Um, late twenties up to, I would date someone like in their fifties even. Okay. Yeah. Just depends on the person. You know, I think it matters a lot more when you're younger too. Like if you're eight, if you're like in your twenties and you're t- like, then it's like, I mean, aside from the fact that like statutory rape and whatnot, but like, there's a bigger gap when you're younger, like even with you're yeah. both under 18, let's say if like, you have like one that's like 13 and one that's 18, that's like seventh or eighth grade to a senior in high school. Like mm-hmm. that's like too big of an age gap. But if you're over 20, those what four years or eight, five years. I can't, I'm not math. Yeah. But I got you. Not math. And, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Would you ever try psychedelic drugs if they were readily available and legal? Ooh. Um, you know what I would do? I would do like with someone that really knew what they were like, how to do it. Like the micro dosing. Mm-hmm. I think I would try that. Like yeah. going like a retreat or something and like micro dosing. Like I would yeah. totally do that, but I wouldn't just like dive in and start doing a bunch of drugs. Cause I've heard stories, um, of people, like I knew, I knew someone who knew someone who told me about like how this guy that she knew had done acid or something on a boat and literally had like a schizophrenic break from it and like never recovered. 
it terrified me. So I've like I wouldn't ever just dabble. But if it was like a safe situation with someone that knew what they were doing, yeah, I would. Yeah. I don't know if I would, honestly, just because of that, just because I've heard so many stories of people that did like the hard drugs and had a really bad experience and felt like they were dying and like now nothing means anything to them anymore. Like they just feel like, I don't know. I don't think I could, I don't know if I'd even want to take that chance. Like right away, I want to be like, I'd probably try it. Like, why not? But then I think about that and it's like, I don't think I want to take that chance. So probably not, honestly. No, that makes sense. That's all we have for tonight. Well, thanks guys for joining us again this week. If you have not, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Join our Facebook group, Boom Tequila Podcast. Give us five stars, good reviews. Share it with your friends, your family, all of your loved ones, all of the things. And we'll see you next Monday. Yes. Bye. Bye.